Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to do, do another die cast review. Today we'll be taking a look at Joey Logano's 2021 Shell Pennzoil for Team Penske. And like I said in my last die cast review, which was die cast review number 21 of the Cobbush Skill Zombie Car, like I said, for now on, every die cast review is a single die cast review. So that means only one car per video. So that means well, I can get them out there faster. So, yep, yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. It's pretty simple. First time I have to take a look at it, 2020. Yeah, just typical packaging for 2021. So yeah, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. All right, here is the die cast out of its box. Let's go ahead and do a 360 of it here in my hand. Really nice. And like I've said, this is, uh, yeah. This is an iconic paint scheme that has been in NASCAR since 2011. So this paint scheme is like 11 or 10 years old and it's probably never going to change. Not a bad paint scheme. Joey Logano. You know, we're all starting to wonder if the next gen car is going to have the numbers move back in things. Then with this paint scheme change, I don't know. Maybe it looks like the all-star car did probably. It's probably not going to change a lot. But if we go to the next gen car, then they don't move the numbers back. They leave them where they are. Then more likely it's not going to change. All right. Anyway, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you got Pennzoil Shell Pennzoil. Ford Mustang. You got the actually back on these cars now. You got the roof. You got the driver's last name in their manufacturer, which is nice. All right. Then down the side, you got Shell Pins on you. Triple A discount trader, all trader snap on. You got all trader up there. On the whoa, what the? Yep, little wonky on the back. We on the back here, you got Shell Pins oil. Up here on the deck lid, you got Shell Pins oil and nothing on the roof. Down the side, you got the. Yep, that's folded. Yep, the worst shell on this side's folded up. And down this side, you got the same stuff as usual. There's the Mustang nose, if you want to take a look at that. And there's the inside of the car, if you want to see that. It, yep, so yeah. So I got the red rims. I definitely want to get some of the metal 164, if I ever can find some of those. But yeah, this car, like I said, it's iconic, so it's probably never going to change unless we have that number move back thing next year, which I don't know if it's going to happen or not. They've not said it. Not bad. Yeah, the few decalers. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Joey Logano. I mean, he's won one race so far this year in the Bristol Dirt. He's already in the playoffs. I mean, I. I, I mean, we all would have thought, you know, he probably would. I was thinking he would have won another race or two by now. So, yeah. So, besides, anyway, yep. So, here we go. We are going to have a side-by-side -side comparison. It'll be next to his 2019 Shell Pennzoil car. All right. All right. Let's see if we got any differences down here on the nose. We got a yellow splitter on the 2019 car, or this one's got a black splitter. And then, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out a way how to do this. And then on this car, next to the 2019 one, this one's got auto zone up there on the right here where this door the 2021 has buddy actually that's buddy light not auto trader sorry guys where this one has auto zone which they're gone this is the same down this side pretty much on the back here you got the same stuff on the roof and on yep same stuff so yeah under here yeah like i said the 20 the 2019 one has a yellow splitter where this one's got a black one so, 
why do you look at auto haters like this pace gear or not? It's not going to probably change unless they move the numbers back. So, yeah. Yo, let's see. Oh, wait, I forget. Yeah. The, this one's got, like, the 2019 one has a AutoZone SKF on the right here. Where this one's got money lines, so. Yeah. Whoops, I I just about chipped it a little bit. Eh, it's okay. So, yeah. Not really much differences. So yeah, not much differences on the 2019 car. So yeah, it was great getting this car. I got this because after, it was great seeing this car. I've seen this car in person for every race I've been to so far. And it was, I was at Indianapolis this, this just this last past, I was just at this, I was just at Indianapolis this, just this past weekend for the cup race. And that's why I got this car because it, if you guys remember, he crashed through the tires, destroyed the whole front of it. So yeah, that's why I got it. It was, I know. So yeah, I guess so I did get to see this car crash into the tire barrier, which was was interesting. It was a, I mean, it was fun seeing AJ Allmendinger win that race. And for the AJ Allmendinger win, they play to make one sixty four together. So yeah, I do play to get it's stud die catch for him. I do play to get his win because that was a that was a pretty big win. So so yeah. And if you want this die cast, it is still available because it hasn't changed a lot. So, yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this die cast review. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this die cast review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.